Hi, welcome to Thiru Academy. Today we are going to see about microservices. Okay. Oh, before going to microservices, we need to see about monolithic service or monolithic architecture. Whatever you want to call, you can call. Okay. Monolithic services refers to an architectural style where an application is built as a single and unified unit. Here in monolithic services, our entire application is in one architecture style, follows one architectural style. Okay, it is a single unit. Imagine it is a large application, solid block containing all the functionalities of our application. Unlike microservices, independent and modular approach. Everything is a monolithic system, is a tightly coupled and resides within one code base. If it is a monolithic application, it follows only one technology only code base is there. only one code base is there and it, it it is it is tightly coupled in monolithic system okay if it's a large scale application if it's a large application containing all the functionalities management of the application is becomes very difficult in monolithic services okay we'll see architecture ones okay in monolithic service other service product service for example i am telling payment service shipment service and user service all users are there right that also we need to store it in somewhere else that is db or anything else right all this connected to one db only all these services will follow only one technology it is very difficult to adopt the new functionalities new technologies okay now we will see microservices okay sorry oh, what is the pros and cons of that monolithic application we will see pros simple to develop and deploy if it's a single application one deploy is enough right one time deployment is enough simple to develop and deploy faster initial development initially we can develop very faster fast manner later on when coming into large application it is it will be difficult okay easy debugging if it is a single application debugging is easy cons of that monolithic application okay limited scalability scaling the application requires scaling the entire system which can be inefficient and costly if it's a large application maintenance and scaling is difficult in monolithic applications scaling is limited scalability available okay slow development cycles changes to any part of the code base require updating and deploying the entire application leading to longer development cycles if if any part of that application requires updation or deployment we need to deploy entire application not the single part that leading to longer development cycles okay reduced fault tolerance if one part of the application fails it can bring down the entire application or system okay if any part of the, the applic application if we get any exception or something else the entire application fails less flexibility difficult to adopt different technologies or languages for different functionalities it is very difficult to adapt the new technologies in monolithic applications next what is microservices microservices is an architectural style for building the software application as small my sorry microservices is an architectural style for building software applications as a collection of small independent 
services it follows the architectural style for building the software application and it's it's a collection of small and independent services okay they these services are often organized around business capabilities and are loosely coupled these services are loosely coupled meaning that they have minimal dependencies on each other dependency of between the services is very minimal okay this makes them easier to develop deploy and maintain and it also makes them more scalable and resilient okay microservices architecture whatever we are going to develop in in our examples that is the this is the architecture we need to follow okay here actor or user user will send the request to any service that request should needs to traverse through api gateway here we need to perform security whether this user is active user or at authorized user or unauthorized user we need to check that one after checking that request then only we need to send the request to our service okay here these are the services we need to develop in our examples okay user service order service product service payment service shipment service each and every service is a independent service and independently it need to connect with database user user service user details in needs to store in database right for that we need to use one db other service other details we need to store it in one database right for that individual other service is connecting with one database product service product details what are the products available in our website or application that needs to be stored in one database like that each and every service will connect to one database payment service and shipment service also here config server this is one application acting as one client in this entire service registry for common properties we need to store that properties in git and we need to read those properties okay and for all entire architecture for all services we need to trace out those services right from where request is going to which service request is going which endpoint resource we are calling all this information we need to trace out right that by using zipkin we are tracing here okay next product service manage product information including inventory and pricing okay product related entire information is available in product service order service handles order processing from placing an order to payment and fulfillment that entire information we are going to handle in order service user service manages the user accounts and authorization payment service process payments securely it handles the payment information shipment service coordinates shipping tracking that shipment we are seeing right in amazon or flipkart anything that tracking information will be logistics and shipment service next pros and cons of that microservices okay pros first of all increased agility and flexibility okay independent deployments changes and updates to individual services can happen without affecting the entire application leading to faster development cycles and quicker time to market previously we have discussed if it's a small application it is very easy and independent for changes and updates also okay for that individual services without affecting the entire service we can change only that service and we can deploy that is faster development and quicker time to market also technology agnostics 
different services can be built with different technologies and programming languages okay allowing teams to choose the best tools for each job okay technology adoption it's a very easy for other service if you want to go, go with any other technology other than java you can simply go with that okay like that we can adopt new technologies okay like for product information if you want to add with ui pod simply you can use either angular or react js whatever you want to use you can develop that is very easy technology adoption is very easy modular development new features and functionalities can be easily added and removed by developing a new services or scaling existing ones okay new features we can add as well as we can remove that features if not needed in scaling okay that is modular development is very easy next improve scalability and resilience horizontal scaling individual services can be scaled independently based on their specific needs leading to more efficient resource utilization and cost savings okay individual services can be scaled can be easily scaled based on their specific needs okay fault isolation if one service fails it doesn't bring down the entire application entire architecture if product service is fail okay no need to stop the other services only product service needs to stop and we need to rectify our service that is fault isolation other services can continue to functional function normally improving overall system uptime and reliability i think you got that point right enhanced maintainability and developer experience smaller code bases okay developer can focus on smaller well defined pieces of code making development and maintenance easier and more efficient okay if it's a small code code bases developer can focus on well making development is very easy independent teams smaller dedicated teams can focus on building and maintaining specific services they can focus on more about the application continuous integration and delivery microservices architecture lends itself when to well to cicd practices facilitating faster and more reliable deployments we can do more reliable and more faster deployments in microservices additional advantages improved security better data management improved sorry increased innovation okay it is very easy to adapt new technologies better data management separate databases for each service can improve the data isolation and privacy compliance in security point of view okay improved security security concerns can be addressed at the service level potentially reducing the impact of vulnerabilities okay the next cons of that microservices increased complexity Re distributed system challenges managing multiple services their and their communication and potential failures adds complexity compared to monolithic application okay maintenance maintaining of multiple services and their communication is little bit difficult monitoring and logging more sorry monitoring and logging debugging and debugging and troubleshooting issues across multiple services can be more challenging than a single code base okay debugging that application means maintenance troubleshooting the issues 
any issues we are getting that troubleshooting is little bit difficult in microservices we need to check in all code data code bases right that's why. testing complexity testing interactions between services and potential edge cases becomes more intricate a testing interactions between services is little bit difficult okay development overhead increased the development time building and maintaining multiple services requires more effect effort compared to single application if it's uh, same functionality we need to develop in different services okay in that point of view here in that service uh, in order service we need to develop and in product service also we need to develop in that point of view building and maintaining multiple services requires more effort manpower is more effort distributed team coordination effective communication and collaboration across teams working on different services is crucial effective communication is crucial in between microservices with different services with infrastructure management deploying and managing independent services requires additional infrastructure and tooling to develop the microservices additional features is required because for that thing we need to provide additional tools right manpower is more whenever manpower is increasing that features also we need to increase okay whereas in monolithic all is placed in one single application right that's why specific to spring in our spring boot okay tooling limitations some spring boot tools might not be readily adapted to a microservices environment whereas in other external tools i'm telling not spring boot specific tools okay if you want to integrate with other tool there may be a chance of not ready for that microservice environment okay dependency management managing dependencies across multiple services can become complex especially with different versions and libraries okay testing tools it will utilizing spring boot testing tools for microservices might require additional configuration and effort for testing tools additional effort is required additional configuration is required okay dependency management managing dependencies across multiple services can become complex okay thank you thank you for watching from our next videos no text explanation see as you have seen here we need to develop all the services one by one thank you thank you for watching